So I'm literally just going to show you this for a minute, okay? I was meant to be doing an unboxing of all of this, right? All of this today. But unfortunately, I ain't got time. So I'm going to do an unboxing of the Wizard in Trunks latest box. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> My stalker is back. Aren't you, little bugger? Just shut the door, and of course she's at the door, whinging, because she wants to come in. What do you think of my new jumper? How freaking good is this? Look, 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 I freaking love this jumper. It's like the best thing ever. I freaking love it. Right, I, I can't remember what the website was, but I will put the link down below, because this is wicked. I love the bricks and everything. It's just, and it's got all the names of the shops all over it. It is such an incredible top. I think this was about £40, so it wasn't cheap, but it is so amazing. Love, love, love. Anyway, today was meant to be an unboxing, right, of all the stuff that I bought at the Harry Potter Studios and all the stuff that I bought before I went to the Harry Potter Studios. But I haven't got time because it is, what time is it? It is 20 past eight in the evening. We've been to Cardiff Film and Comic Con today. Oh my God, it was so funny because I did this video while I was there. Well, we did this video while I was there. So brilliant, love it. But it's all over my TikTok. I love it, it's so much fun. It wasn't the best Comic Con. In fact, it was probably one of the worst uh, Cardiff Film and Comic Con because they had cut the hall in half and there was so little there. It was mostly anime. And don't get me wrong, I, I, I respect the people who love anime, but I'm not one of them. Um, there was a lot of Harry Potter people dressed up. I dressed up as McGonagall, obviously. I was going to go as Umbridge, but I didn't have the wig that hasn't arrived. Um, it would help if I ordered it. <laughs> so I haven't, I, I haven't even ordered it yet. You want to go out? You've just come in. So I just haven't had time and I am working all week this week. No, tell a lie, I have Wednesday off, but Harry's got the orthodontist because I'm having braces fitted soon. And I then have Friday off, but I have promised that Friday will be, will be Halloween day, Friday and Saturday nights. So I'm doing this now Sunday before Wednesday so I can get it out of the way. I know I'm meant to be doing an unbagging of everything I bought. That's going to be next week. But this week, okay, I thought you guys might appreciate this because I've finally gone back to the wizarding trunk. So this is my first wizarding trunk box. Oh my God, it's got to be going on almost two years, I think, since I've had it. And the reason why I stopped buying it was because one it is not cheap. I was on very, very, very low income. And two, they weren't as, I felt like they weren't as good as they used to be, if that makes sense. So I spoke, I, I canceled my subscription and then I spoke to my friend Sandy Langdon and she said after that I cancelled I think something must have happened because the boxes seem to improve and she says they're brilliant now and a lot of you have said get the boxes so I'm now getting the bi-monthly and the quarterly boxes to unbox on my channel yay so I have no idea what this box is about because I ordered them because I wanted to unbox them on my channel. And this one, it says the Owlry. I haven't had, the last time I had this box, it was a plain like, like cardboard and then it had a print over it, the Owlry. But this is so cool. I love all the designs and stuff. This is brilliant. That is so fantastic. I'm really impressed with the box because there's nothing worse, right, than getting a subscription box. I will open it in a minute, I promise. Getting a subscription box and the box itself is terrible, as in the outer box, because I love LitJoy, okay? I love LitJoy. I did cancel my boxes from LitJoy because I got their box that was to do with Lord of the Rings. I think that was like $120. It was really expensive, right? And it arrived and I was so disappointed. So disappointed. So I canceled my subscription with them because the box arrived and it was just plain cardboard. There was nothing outside the box. There was no like to see it. It just opened up like a normal cardboard box and it was plain. Didn't like that because we like the artwork. Do you know what I mean? We like the artwork. We like going, oh, oh, oh. You know, that sort of thing, we like it, right? But I have asked for, I have got their, um, is it take me home or take them home or 
whatever it's called, their last wizarding box. I have ordered that and it, I will be unboxing it on my channel. So I'm very excited about that because the last one of the last one they did was very good. You know, the pieces went for a lot of money on eBay. Um, but this one, I think I'm hoping for the same amount of, oh, that would be so cool. So let's get into this box. I've talked for six minutes now, right? In between this idiot here, yeah. So this is the design of the box. So we're gonna open it now. Okay, so we have lots of goodies. Um, so we're going to have a look. What's oh, knocking the camera? So the first thing I'm going to show you is actually something that's open. So I'm going to quickly close it up again. Enchant med, mend, enchant mend bandages. That is very fun. So that's something to do with Saint Mungo's Hospital. I think that's very very cool so we like that is it actually plasters in here no it's actually okay that's right and they've oh my god they're all printed enchant enchant mend look at that that's so genius oh my god I love that okay first item love 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 and I love the little tin it's a proper freaking tin like a proper tin yeah it's a proper tin right it's a proper tin look at that that is so good i love that so i'm gonna pop that in in uh, to one side and then i've got a pin we've got a pin so i'm not gonna look at it it was sideways so all i saw was the very like the the metal bit i didn't actually see what this is so you're gonna see it in, um, before i do so what have we got? It's a portrait. It's a portrait. It's a portrait. Anyone guess what a portrait, what the portrait is? Anyone? 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 No? Anyone? Is that meant to be Gilderoy Lockhart? Oh my god, that's so funny. Because he was in St. Mungo's. You know, who am I? Um, have you seen that? Does anyone know about that? The End of Chamber Secrets, there's an end scene, okay? There's actually a freaking end scene in Harry Potter, yeah? It's Gilderoy Lockhart literally in a straight jacket kind of looking around and it's a book in uh, Flourish and Blots and the book's called Who Am I? It's so good! I love it! So if you haven't seen that end credit you need to see that but that's pretty funky. I do like that. I really like that. I like the frame detail. I wouldn't put it on my shelf but I do like that. Now I was ready to be quite kind of Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but these two items are very good let's hope that i have that reaction with everything so let's pop that to one side so we've got a thing wrapped no we haven't yes we have we've got a thing wrapped up in bubble wrap and i think it, i've just seen it like looks like a wax stick so i think it might be a stick of wax oh okay it is but it's a number of things it, it's a Okay, what were you doing? Okay, it's a few things. I'm going to pop that down. I also want to show you something I bought today as well, which I don't normally buy stuff from Cardiff Film and Comic Con for myself because I find it quite boring. Um, as in, you know, it's the stuff that you can get anywhere, the generic stuff. So if you, unless you see something that's really like good price, I don't normally buy stuff for myself from Comic Con. However, this item I was very impressed with. So we have weird things. We have what looks like a bottle of very red ink and i'm gonna very carefully see if i can open this yes i can oh wow it is a proper like red there so i'm gonna put the lid back on it because if i drop that that's gonna go everywhere and we have this is what i this is what i meant we've got a red wax stick and then we have something this looks like some sort of smelling salts or something i don't think it is smelling salts but i think it's some sort of smelling salts so not quite sure what these are Okay, so they're definitely not smelling salts. I think they're little tiny quartz crystals, like pink quartz. So that's them. So I'm not too sure about them because this, this, I don't know what it is yet. So we've got, a little, we've got a little bag. What's on the front of that? Can you guys see it? So we've got a little bag. It's very heavy for a little bag. What does it say? Glintworth Bank. Glint. I like that. Glint as in something sparkly glinting in the wind. Do you know what I mean? Um, so we're going to kind of open this now. I think this is something to do with like, you know, Gringotts coins sort of thing. 
So maybe this is like diagonal. No, it wouldn't be diagonally if it was um, enchant mend, would it? So we've got some awesome little coins. My Niffler is going to freaking love these. So we have, I can't see this, so you guys are seeing them before me, yeah? So there's that coin, that looks pretty cool. Oh wow, it's a dragon on that, that's wicked. That is very nice. And then we have, hang on, I'm gonna look at it before I show you. That looks like a hippogriff. The bag is a little bit kind of, it's a bit hard to see through that, but can you see? It looks like a hippogriff or something. It's definitely a, like a flying creature or like a horsey type thing. And we have a fluffy on that one. So we have a little fluffy with the details on the back. They are actually really nice. Yeah, I best hide those before my little Niffler from my friend Tyrone sees it. Oh, he's, look, he's eyeing it up. You, don't you dare. I'll put them with you in a minute. No, after. Not now, later. You can have them in a minute, okay? Right, so we've got like a weird kind of unlocking magic. So we've got a pretty box with a key pattern on the front. So let's kind of, I don't know if I, if I open this, is it gonna fall or something? I'm sure she might want to go out let me do this first and then i'll let her out you'll start hearing something in a minute it's okay what you doing what you doing right so i've opened it up i just hope it doesn't fall it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall oh we have a key god i haven't had a key from them for so long i think the prisoner of azkaban one was it was it prisoner of azkaban i can see it from here but oh no it wasn't it was the um room of requirement key i had that was the last one i received that's very colourful. Oh, that is cool. That is a Weasley Wizard Wheeze key. Okay, I really like that. <laughs> it's so sparkly and shiny. Oh my god, that's so cool. That is absolutely wicked. I love that. See, it's getting things like this in a box. Then you stuff like that i mean this box has been great the only thing obviously i'm not sure about are those three things that were in the bubble wrap um but getting a box like this yeah with good things in it makes you quite you know you don't mind paying the money especially when there's not that many magical boxes out there anymore it's nice to actually have a nice box to receive now obviously i haven't had this for like almost two years so it's it's, a, it's been a while. I don't know what everyone else has had, but I like the idea of it continuing with good things after Sandy told me, yep, they've really like changed everything. They're doing really well. The stuff they're producing is worth the money, blah, blah, blah. So I really hope that it continues, you know? So we've got something in a box with like the hog's head on it. So, cause I don't know the theme of this box. I'm hoping if there's a, a wizard's checklist in here, that I will, I, it, it'll all be explained then. So we've got hog, um, the hog's head, like almost like a, a barrel-y thing here in the shape of a box. Okay, we've got polystyrene. That's always a good sign. Right, okay, so I'm gonna, I've seen something gold, that's all I'm gonna say. I've gotta try and get this now, there we are. So we've got, is that a, is that a cup or, no, it can't, is it like a little, is it upside down? I think it might be upside down. No, no, free, are you, no, I've just realised what this is, yeah? I have never, ever seen one in a subscription box. It's probably because it's not like something that they could actually successfully create. If this is actually what I think it is, wow, okay. This is something that people are going to want. Um, so be checking eBay, all right? Oh my God, I really hope it is what I think it is now because that's gonna make it so much more magical. I gotta try and get this out now. This is really, really stuck. I'm really trying to be careful because I don't wanna break this. I will be devastated if I break this. I'm not looking because I don't want to look. I want to see it fully when it's out. I can feel it and I'm edging it out. Every time I edge it out, it's kind of slipping back. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So you guys are going to see it first, yeah? Hang on, let's take it out of this package. You guys are probably thinking, what is she doing? Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is it? Oh my God. 
Right, are you ready now? Are you ready? Okay, hang on. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so cute. It's a hog's head jack. <laughs> that is what I thought it was. When I saw it was a pig, I was like, no. I just got a handle. I just thought, no. Oh my God. Okay, so what I would use this for, yeah, if I was gonna use it, which, you know, chances are I might, I would use this to put, like, milk or cream in for tea. So it could very well be a milk jug, right, to go on your... I mean, I mean, we, ha we use my hog's head jug at Christmas, yeah, because we use it for, like, juices and things. It's really hard to use because when you pour it, it just dribbles everywhere. This bloody thing, he doesn't know how to swallow, do you know what I mean? So what i love is that you could use this very easily so you've got obviously a section here i can't get over this a section there to put the product in and then you can pour it out of his freaking mouth <laughs> i absolutely this has got to be the best thing this year right oh my god i am so happy right now <laughs> This is amazing. I am just so freaking blown away by this. My hog's head jug, where is it? It's behind my Ravenclaw. I've got a big Ravenclaw lamp behind the camera. And it's behind there on the shelf because there's a tiny little crack in mine. Um, there is a way you can fix it, but I just, I never got around to fix it because I've left it on the shelf. So what I wanted to do, because even though we use that one, I want to buy a new one now because you can get them from Universal Orlando. I want to buy a new one now before Christmas. I should play with a little bag that this came in. Um, and then use that at Christmas um, or use that one at Christmas and keep the other one safe that's actually a better idea I freaking love this I absolutely love this that is like the best thing ever I'm gonna put it back in its if I can get it back in I'm gonna put it back in because I don't trust myself I am so shocked at that so shocked at that that is such an amazing surprise. Oh my God, I love you. You're so much fun. I, I saw this and I thought, it's gotta be like a mug or something. You know, it's gotta be a mug. I never expect it to be that, to be a jug, an actual jug. That is just phenomenal. That's got to be one of the best things I've ever pulled out of a subscription box. And you know I've done a lot of subscription boxes, yeah. This is not paid partnership. This is nothing like this. It's genuine, genuine reaction. So love that, yeah. So we have... I can't get over that. God, there's loads in this box. Right, okay, so I'm not so, I'm not so fussed on potions anymore. We've. I feel like potions have been done over and over and over and over again. However, I do have an idea for an amazing potion that one day I will create and I'll do a how-to video. Because I've had this creation idea for like five years now and I've never made it, but it won't be, it's fiddly, but it's not like, you can't do it sort of thing. So one day I will create it and I will share it with you all. And it's for that, until then it is in my head and it's staying there. Because I've never seen anyone do it. And as soon as I do it, loads of people are gonna do it. Because I don't think anyone has, has um, caught on to it. So, yeah, and I'm a dark witch, so this is kind of perfect. So this one is called Brew Your Brew It Yourself Potion Kit, Pure Blood Apothecary, Death Cap Draft, Warning, Extremely Poisonous, Keep Stopper Closed. So I love the packaging. I do love the packaging. I don't like it when you get a generic potion. I mean, how many Apologies potions have we had? How many, I don't know, Phoenix Tears and stuff like that have we had? and there's it's just boring when you get bubble wrap and there's a bottle in it and that's literally it it's like oh we've done this before yeah it's really pretty but we've done this before we've done this before we've done this before i like it when they include the packaging because the packaging makes it extra special i feel it's kind of like um you know majority of stuff you would end up just throwing it wouldn't you packaging wise if it's put in a plain box or a plain bag or something but when it's decorative like this it's more of a reason to keep it and it looks nice on display. So displaying is everything, especially when you've got a potion shelf. So I'm gonna open the top bit. 
see if I can do this without ruining the box because I do like the box oh it's very thick cardboard mine so I might be able to got a knife as now so I'm gonna ah there we are it's better if you can never get boxes open right use a knife just put it underneath and just gently tease it out there we are done because I did start to rip it I'm not gonna lie I did start to rip it but only very slightly so I've opened it now oh it's upside down as well uh, maybe there's a reason why it's upside down all oh, right okay we got a stopper all right so it's there's nothing in the box bottle it's just um it's decorative oh oh that's a bit of a letdown that is a bit of a letdown that really is i was like uh bigging that up and it's actually that is a letdown because i got really excited about it and it's not even got a label on it so you can't display it with the box that is very very disappointing so the next thing is a white box which we'll probably throw away because as i said the box you know the packaging that's plain stuff like that you normally do throw away don't you so let's have a look and see what's in here because that's really disappointing like everything's been amazing and that's not so there must be a reason you know everything else is great apart from you know i still don't know about the stuff that was in the bubble wrap doesn't make any sense so yes yeah, so we're going to have a look and see what this is like yeah right let's just have a look so we've got a plain white box and then we have i think this might be a flask and then it is a flask oh okay i like that what's that what's that guys what's that oh i like it do you know what right do you know what right right i want to hear it yeah what vic yeah what's what vic vic what 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 tell us for god's sake will you tell us herbology supply i like it i actually really like it that's a really nice oh it's scratch no it's not scratch it's not scratched it's okay i was thinking it's scratch no it's not scratch it's fine it's a pa it's part of the pattern <sighs> it's okay everybody it's okay we don't have to pack it's all right it's no just yeah it's fine just kill it just, yeah just you don't have to assassinate him it's all right um but yeah it's it's that's very very nice but do you know what <laughs> i will get to it right i have to take my hello hello can you hear me um, i have to take my own milk to work because work don't do they do semi-skimmed and full fat and obviously i do like my coffee so i have to take my own skimmed milk because i only drink skim milk i'll drink semi-skimmed if i'm in work i could just hear this echoing hello everybody can you see me can you all hear me um so i will be taking my um skimmed milk in my new bottle uh, so that's really nice i like that a lot that's very very nice i like the fact you can see some like mandrakes and stuff in the window as well but isn't that really nice that is a very nice save after the potion bottle incident i really like that and i get to freaking use it because i need my skim milk right okay so the next thing is the veil incantum po po poisons and cursed curiosities so the last time i had something from them i've got it in my borgen and burke's cabinet it's a catalogue from borgen and burke's but it's obviously it's the wizard in trunks uh display so i don't know what this is going to be so this is meant to be like borgen and burke's like their version of borgen and burke's so we've got this box I'm really hoping this is decent because so far it's only one item that's let me down. And you know me, I will tell you how it is. So if you always want a YouTuber that's going to tell you how it is, mate, I'm your girl. Okay, so there we are. We've opened it up with my knife -es. So we're going to, it's polystyrene again. Is it actual polystyrene? <laughs> it's polystyrene. The other stuff was like a weird plasticky stuff. Oh, right, okay, this has actually come away, so I'm going to have to do it like that. Is that a planchette? No! <gasps> that's actually really freaking creepy. Okay, so that's a planchette from a Ouija board, yeah. That is so, so freaking cool. But I don't think you can use this one. I mean, I suppose you probably could, but I wouldn't advise it. That is a freaking genius idea to have in a subscription box for wizarding stuff. I love that. Now in America, 
those of you elsewhere, America, Ouija board is kind of like, um, it's almost like a kid's toy. You can buy the board game in, 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 in any toy store. So there's a bit of fluff like flying around. I'm not trying to like, you know, make a, a ghost come or something. Um, but they, they, they kind of, it's a normal thing out there. You know, Ouija boards is like stuff. It's like a kid's game, as I said. Here in the UK, it's not. It's actually kind of frowned upon. So they don't sell them here in shops. You know, it's like, we don't contact the dead. We do, of course we do. We have ghost hunts and everything. It's how me and Adam met, do you know what I mean? But I, I, I don't, yeah, we don't have things like that. So having something like this in a subscription box is almost like, oh, don't tell them, don't tell them. It's a secret, shh because it's, it's really like just not done. So that is brilliant. My uncle actually sent me, my uncle Nick, um, if you look up, uh, is it Bloodline, the movie, um, he's actually the guy that's interviewed as part of the Priory of Zion, um, or is it Zion, and he's like a Freemason and stuff. I know, my family's really weird. But my uncle, bless him, he sent me, he was telling me, you know, he's got this little Ouija board and he I knew, he knew I'd love it and stuff. And he sent it to me, it's a tiny little one like that, a proper Ouija board, when you pull it open, it's a little planchette and it's like plastic, it's a little plastic key ring, it's so funny, I don't even know where it's from, but it's so funny, it's in my drawer upstairs, it's like the only other, th only like thing that my uncle's ever sent me, so it's treasured forever, he has sent me like the, because he's, he's got books out, and he did send me like the hard copy of the book, like the script, almost like an A4 page side, and he signed it and everything as well, so, but um, yeah, he's, he's like quite well known, um, but he's the only one, I've only got like that tiny little Ouija board. So this is actually really cool. I'm rambling, but that is really cool. I really like that. Even Adam will probably be impressed with that. It is like a porcelain or like a, I'd actually say like a resin, but I know if I drop that, it will smash. So I really like that. That's really cool. That is going into my Borgen and Berks cabinet. I might actually, I'm gonna keep the box as well because that is very, very nice. So I'm gonna pop them down and I'm gonna continue because we have, I think this is a book cover. Now I have, I don't, you can't really see them very well, but I have his book covers here. Um, not all of them. This was from another subscription box. I know I got them from the Wizard and Drunk because I wanted the last one and I couldn't get it because I'd cancelled my subscription. Uh, so it's my own fault, you know, but I cancelled my subscription so I didn't get it. And I did ask, you know, are you going to be selling them? And they said they were auctioning them off or something. If you didn't subscribe, they were auctioning the last one off to for charity or something, which made sense. But I, I just thought, no, there's no point trying to get it. So I haven't obviously collected them since. So we're going to open this one. I like these tubes. They're handy to have. Right, okay, so must admit going to comic con today just reminded me how much i love like prop making and stuff there's so many prop makers and cosplayers and things i love prop making love 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 so i've actually got a box behind again my huge ravenclaw um painting i just realized i have my cabinet i've not turned my cabinet on oh well never mind um you've seen it loads of times um but i've got a box behind there a wooden box and it's literally filled to the brim of this sort of thing of like the covers and there's some really rare limited edition ones in there from other companies um, and it's like some German covers and stuff that were only released for so long so I really need to kind of have a look and remind myself what I've got I don't think I'll be able to put this back in here unless I make it really small right so I'm, I don't know which way it's gonna go but you guys are gonna see it first uh, I'm just gonna no it's that way sorry I, I did look very slightly but it's literally because I wanted to make sure that it was the right way around Oh, I love the actual foiling on this. So they're actually designed, I'm like, hello! They're actually designed to fit the Amer is it American Harry Potter books. So I do have the American Harry Potter books, not all of them, but I do have the majority of them. Uh, obviously not first editions, but they do fit them. And I, oh, actually, no, they, they, they are meant to. And it's weird, right? Because I've got a Philosopher's Stone, sorry, Sorcerer's Stone first edition, uh, not first edition, sorry, I'll try that again. <laughs> I've got a hardback of Sorcerer's Stone, but when I tried to put the cover on, the cover was too big. So I'm wondering if the, the one I've got was the same design as the actual, Amer you know, it's, it's like proper kind of American book. But I'm wondering if there were if there were different sizes released because the one I've got is actually too small. So I'm wondering if maybe there's a different one out there. I don't know. Does anybody know? Can anyone like tell me? Like say, Victoria, you know nothing. It was this. Well, clearly I don't know nothing because I'm asking you. 
Um, right, so I'm going to try and put this back. I ain't got my glove. Oh my god, I did it! No! I made it fit! Oh my god, I'm, I'm a genius. That's what I am. I am a freaking genius. Okay, so I'm stiffing that, stiffing, stuffing that back in there. Maybe I should just go back to bed. It has been a long day, mind. I got work tomorrow and I'm dreading it because I made mistakes in work yesterday and I know that I'm going to be like asked about them tomorrow even though i have a very good reason why i made the mistakes they don't tend to listen to that though do they they just suddenly start yelling at you um, and then you go but by the way you know this is why because somebody else didn't do their job properly this was never created and this was never repaired or, re or redone so i had no choice so that's literally what my day will be like tomorrow with those facial expressions that is exactly what it's going to be like yeah Okay, so we have Unforgivable Ink, there where sh shadows are conjured and ink is unleashed. Now, if you go to the di if you go to Diagon Alley in the one of the studios, if you haven't been for a while, they op they've opened up Diagon Alley, so you go in it a different way now. And where you used to enter Diagon Alley, it's actually a tattoo shop where all like the death eaters would get their tattoos done it's really cool so they've got all the designs up on the wall so it's actually created like a tattoo shop it's so cool so that's what this reminds me of so i'm wondering if it's something to do with the tattoo shop there so 15 nightshade alley so this is what this is where the address is taking nightly take taking nightly from twilight's embrace until dawn's awakening it is Halloween after all, do you know what I mean? Maybe this is the Halloween box, I don't know. <clears throat> so what have we got? Let's have a look. Okay, so are these tattoos? They feel like tattoos. <laughs> that is so cool. That's like something Snake, uh, Sirius had, wasn't it, that one? They are tattoos. Oh, that is pretty. And I'm not just saying that because it's blue. I like that. They are the little tattoos. Again, something I've never seen in a subscription box. That is, I love that one. That's gorgeous. That one is a, like, oh my God. And I'm sorry, but I am going to say it. Does anybody else look at that and think sperm? <laughs> or tadpoles, you know, PG version, tadpoles. But done it? I mean, they're just like, they're just, I don't get that bit. That's just really funny. Oh, that's going to tickle me today. But I think this one is a very similar design to the one that Sirius has. You know, his around like the neck area, like the collarbone here. Um, and it goes kind of down the front for protection. So I'm wondering if that is something like that, like his. That one is just sperm or tadpoles. And that one is just so beautiful. I love that. I know I'm a dickhead, aren't I? But I can't help it. I get it from my mother's side. Oh, somebody messaged me. Was it the other day or yesterday? Yesterday was technically the other day for me. They're all rolled into one. Um, and they said um, that they read my autobiography. Because my autobiography, I wrote it years ago after my mum died. So it's like nine, eight, nine years ago I wrote it. And um, they'd read it. I think you can only get them secondhand now. But she read it and she was like oh my god you know your story was amazing you've inspired me you know i can't believe what you've been through and you know that that, that was lovely don't get me wrong um and then i told her i said i'm writing book number two now da -da -da -da. but that's not gonna be the first book was quite harsh um as in obviously it's not easy reading for people my past you know it's quite hard to read and there's a lot that there's a lot i don't say in it there's a lot i have kept back because it's really bad um stuff that happened to me and my sister you know it's it's um and my brother um it's it's not nice it's not nice for any person to hear you know it's not nice at all but i wrote about a lot of what happened it when it was more like um it was more of a self-help and like a therapy for me to kind of how do i put it to kind of clear the air and like release that kind of pressure off me i felt like i had a, a load lifted off my shoulders when i wrote my book it did feel good to write it but then it was very as i said hard to read it was very harsh it was painful and sad but it's about not where you come from, it's about where you end up. You know, I am abs I might I might be completely insane. Um, I think my videos contest to that, but I am fine. 
and my boys, my daughter, are absolutely fine. You know, they're thriving in their lives. My husband is incredible. I live in an amazing house and I'm so, so, so lucky. I have so much to be thankful for. So you do, if you keep thinking positive, then it will come. You just got to, you've got to work. It doesn't come to you, you've got to work for it. And, and I mean mentally and everything, you know, not like you've got to work for it, let's get the hammer and chisel, you know. I don't mean like that. I mean, you mentally have to work for it. I've had to literally take myself out. And I think because I'm autistic, helps because I can like shut myself off from things not all the time but I can shut myself off from things and I feel that that's where I kind of win so it works in my favor Dan's the same he very rarely thinks negative he always thinks positive and I'm always winning but I am writing book number two but this book is going to be basically my crazy life and me being an idiot, because there's plenty of things to talk about, do you know what I mean? I'm sure my family will have plenty to tell people when I'm gone. So yes, yeah, so we literally, I am literally writing again. So we also have, God, I'm rambling today, aren't I? Right, so we've got, this looks like some sort of newspaper. It, it, it is like a, it is a newspaper. Uh, so it's like a newspaper. It's, it's the Wizard's Checklist, 13 Windershins. Widdish, sorry, Widdershins Shop Key. Okay, so we're going to take these out because I'm I'm really not good at reading through pla pla plastic. Plastic. Apparently, it's plastic. It's like discount toads. Um, so this is actually the last of the box. So we've got this strange kind of little little jibby here. So I'll have to read that. Congratulations to your new job at the Widdershins Joke Shop. As their newest employee, this key gives you access to be able to open and close up shop. This key was designed uh, for us by Wizardry Workshop TWT Exclusive. So that is regarding that amazing Weasley Wizard Wheeze key. So I'm going to pop this in the box. In, in the, in the box. Um, in the, in the, I'm going to start in the, in the in the box right so i'm gonna pop that in there so that goes in there so that's all like that in there so i think that might have been meant to be where it belongs so i've got that in the box and then the other thing is magical creatures a to z red cap it is right hang on i'm gonna have to turn into press and we're gonna go for five minutes even though i was her earlier in comic-con Hello! Um, so it is in the darker side of the magical world when file when fi one finds the red cap, a creature surrounded with both mystery and danger. Red siding in remote areas, these magical creatures are seldom encountered by humans with their blood red caps, violent nature and peculiar habits, red cape, sorry, no red, no red caps, are one of the most dangerous magical creatures you could stumble upon. So is that to do with that red ink there? So maybe that's what that is. So I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to pop that down. Oh, that's nice. We got the postcard. What's it meant to be of? Owlry. Oh, it's an owlry. I didn't know that. That's very nice. It's a very, very nice owlry. I like that, but it's a postcard. I like postcards. Wherever I used to go, if I went like out somewhere, like on a, a trip or something, I used to always get my mum a, a postcard because she loved receiving them and then I'd buy one and forget to send it. And they'd be like, oh mum, yeah, here you go. <laughs> So funny. Preparation of the death cap draft. Ingredients, moon water, red bane berry juice, crystallized death cap. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But again, I'm not quite sure. I think it might be the whole crystallized jibby, this bit, and then this bit. So yeah, so hang on, what's this bottle? So this, I think, is you're meant to make your own perhaps? maybe i don't know so i'm going to read the wizard checklist and maybe that is what it is and this is to do the cap of the bottle oh okay so it's like a little diy thing i like it okay i'm going to stop whinging now i like it that's nice at least that way you know it's not going to leak on the way to the person who's bought it so this is what we need to make so you've got moon water is that meant to be moon water no, that's red berry juice. I don't know what moon, oh, moon water as in actual water. Red berry juice and then crystallized death cap. So that's what that's meant to be there. Okay. 
I like it. So all of you kind of having a go at me, because obviously I haven't had a box for like two years. I don't know what they're doing. You know, through the camera, like anyone I can hear, I can feel, I can feel it. Anyone having a go at me, right? I know, yeah. I know now. I know now. Oh, well, I dropped it. Okay, so oh, it's I like it. That's cool. Okay, so this is Wizards. We Wizard 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 Wizard. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Let's try again. Take two. Wizard Weekly. I think I've got to say it slowly, otherwise my words like. <laughs> okay, so Magical Alley. Okay, so bank coins. So we have little bank coins there. So put them down. Put them down. You know what I meant. Number two is Unforgivable Ink Tapestry Tattoo. Ta Where are they gone? Ta Ta Hello? Ta oh, there they are. Those little tattoo-y thingies there. So that's pretty cool. So pop that back in the box. Number three, the Herbology Supplies Water Bottle. So that is that bottle there. So I actually really like the idea. I take it back. I apologise to Wizarding Drunk. That is actually a very, very good idea. How it turns out is another matter entirely. The Vial Incantations Enchanted Planchette. So that's the plant. No, nope, that's not it. Hang on. Aha. That's the planchette. Yeah. Love that. Autographed Portrait Pin. So obviously that is meant to be Gilderoy Lockhart. Secret Passages and Magical Tunnels. This book teaches you about some of the magical useful tunnels. What book? Am I missing a book? Oh, no, is that the, is that that? Is that the, that's, is that? Ah, yes. Oh, this fits the seventh house edition UK. Do you know what? I think I was talking to Pete, the potter collector, um, a long time ago now, that he, we, we both said the same thing, that we wished that they would do a UK version, because the UK versions, obviously, are, like, I, even though America, you know, you are amazing, you're so important, you are as important, as even more important than us sometimes, because I think that if it wasn't for America, where would the UK be? Um, but the UK books, the Harry Potter books, are obviously more sought after and more popular, so I kind of... Um, really wanted them to do a UK version, so I love the fact that you've done a UK version. So I've got loads. In fact, that's I put them to one side because I had too many of them, so they're just the ones that I wanted to show. But I've got so many of the original books, so that's really cool. I love that enchantment. I love that enchantment bandages. Enchantment. Sorry, that is genius. I love that creature page. So that's creature, and then we got this weird. Rag, rag, ragaroo, rogaroo, rogaroo, rogaroo. I think they've mentioned that in Supernatural Rogaroo. They've got a rogaroo thing there as well as that. So that's cool. Boar's head cream pourer. I said, didn't I? It's either for milk or cream. I put it back in its box. But oh my God, yeah. Absolutely love that that's there. Brew it yourself potion kit. So that is these three things here so that makes sense because i'm literally looking at them thinking what's going on in it the owlry postcard right hang on 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 we're here there's not even that much in the box and i still can't find it right so we've got the owlry postcard death cap draft potion recipe so that is this here love 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 and then editor's choice we've got a, a youtuber practically nikki in every way oh my god i love your name that's so cool i'm not sure if i follow you already actually for the chance to be featured in the editor's choice make sure you twte ed um, editor's choice in your posts or unboxings next bi-monthly theme the potions master love it and then on the other side is a magical alley map that's so cool i love this so this was about magical alley i take it i love that borgen and burks will still be my favorite i love them or, or like the you know um wheezy wizard wheezes but borgen and burks will always be my favorite i freaking love it it's so good pure blood apothecary unforgivable ink um the copper kettle we've actually got a restaurant up the road called the copper kettle um fiddle fiddle fiddlers Fiddler's Prigs, is it me or does that sound rude? Magical Herbs, the Vial, vi 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 um, Incantum, 
Bailey Wicks, Bailey, 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 Wick, Bailey Wicks Magical Sweets, Clean Sweeps Broom Shop, Law and Latch Broom uh, Bookshop, and Glintworth Bank. Love it. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh my god, this box. Talk about a magical magical journey. This has seriously taken me on a magical journey. I honestly, I did this one thinking it wouldn't be a long video because I know I have loads to do today um, before I go to bed. So I knew I couldn't do the massive unboxing which you saw at the beginning of this video of all the stuff. But I, I must admit, right, how I feel about this box. For the first box in two years that I've gone back to Wizard in Trunk, right, so it's the first one in two years. I am so impressed with this box. I really didn't like that potion bottle because I just couldn't believe how plain it was. However, there's a reason for that. It's a DIY, you do it yourself, which I've never seen in a box. I've never seen something like this in a box. I've never seen a planchette in a box. I've never seen enchant mend these things. Like the idea is fantastic. Everybody's seen a portrait pin, that's normal. The flask, even though I really like it, everybody's seen it that's that's like you know normal the keys everybody's seen the keys the coins everyone's seen the coins but for this and the enchant enchant mend i absolutely love it the diy potion i love it so i, I obviously you guys looking you've done you know you've looked at this so many times you know okay um you're like victoria for god's sake blah, 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 blah. oh my god this box has been amazing absolutely amazing i've just remembered that I haven't shown you what I bought today. So I'm really sorry for the long video, but I'm gonna show you what I bought today because I'm so, I love it. I really love it. This isn't like promo or anything. This isn't me. I literally paid galleons for this, right? Not, not many galleons, it was really cheap. Um, I think it was 25 pound I paid for this. So I thought for, for what I was getting, I was really impressed. And I never buy pictures, ever buy pictures, right? So I'm gonna show you now, you're gonna love it. Okay, so this picture has been digitally created. How freaking amazing is that? I absolutely freaking love that. It's been digitally created by the, the um, artist. And I actually can't read what it says on the print because I didn't take any like cards or anything. Fueled Art. It's called Fueled Art. If I can find his website, I will put it down below. But that is brilliant. And it was it was either 20 or 25 I paid 25 I paid for it. How cool is that? I love that so much. Now I've got to find somewhere to put it, and I never buy pictures ever. But I saw it and it was like I've got to have it. I have to have it. That's so beautiful. I really love it. So I'm really pleased with that. I've just got, as I said, I've got to find somewhere to put it now. But that is basically it. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. I am at, what is the time? It is 10 past, well, 11 minutes past nine. I am so tired. So I'm sorry I didn't do the unboxing. I've actually got all of this to unbag for you. I've got a box there from uh, Insight Editions and I've also got a box of goodies, Harry Potter goodies from Boots Chemist. So I literally have so much to share with you between the next couple of weeks. I, I don't even know. I mean, there's something in this bag from the studio, right? I haven't, the only thing I've taken out of here and I have put it back was the Udi. I did buy the Owl Udi. I did take it out and I put it back. So I tried it on, wore it for a day and then put it back, well, not even a day, it was like half a day. Everything else is still very much sealed. And I don't even know if all of it survived. I've even got presents to open in there as well. And I've also got two boxes there from the Warner Brothers studio that's meant to be done the same time. I wanted to take some time off last week on the Tuesday because I'd had such a crazy week, a weekend obviously, because I worked the 11 days straight and then I had, I was in London then for two days and then I went straight back to work on the 12th, 13th, 14th day. And then I had a day off on the Tuesday, so on the 15th day I had a day off finally. And I literally, my plan was to do my room because it's so crazy up there. There's clothes everywhere. It's like a floor drobe. They're folded, but it's a floor drobe because I have no room in my wardrobe. So my, my job was literally to clean out my wardrobe and put my work stuff in as well as obviously Harry Potter stuff like this. Um, so I've kind of done, I've done most of that, but I still need to get, I'm rambling on today, but I still need to get all my pictures, not my pictures, my 
I've got loads of lights because I don't like overhead lights. I'm really like odd. I don't like overhead lights. I've got them on now because I'm filming, you know, but in the front room and my bedroom and everything, I don't like the overhead lights unless we can't find something, we turn the lights on. I've got an itchy nose, I've got hair there. So I've, and I've unplugged all my little lights, I've got little lights everywhere and I've unplugged them all. And of course, because it's getting darker now, I need to plug it back in again and just like have it like that. So yeah starting to hit me now I think but this this I can't I this box is like wow <laughs> I cannot believe this box it's just wow I love it I love it I love it love it love it I'd love to know your thoughts on this box have you got the wizard in trunk box the bi-monthly box if you have if you have let me know your favorite item you can see I'm getting tired now because I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna like take my makeup off and go to bed I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go to sleep I'm gonna work tomorrow oh my god anyway I love you guys I really do you guys make me so proud you know what I've hit 19,000.2 I'm so close to 20,000. I'm going to have a little party, I think, and create some like amazing fe fo uh, videos. I don't know if I'm going to have something seriously like, oh my God. So yeah, I'm up to 19.2. I'm so proud. Anyway, I love you guys. I will speak to you very soon. Have a magical evening and I will catch you next week. Stay magical. I love you. Bye. Check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.